Good morning, everybody. Thanks for taking a minute out of your day to watch today's video. Hey, today we're joined with president and founder of PLS, Mike Netherton. I think it's really important for everybody to understand where PLS comes from, where we're going, and some of the things that we offer, and to get to know Mike a little more on a personal level. Guys, I know he's very anxious to meet each and every one of you, and that'll all happen in due time. I'll have him out with me. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about before we get started, hey, if you'll respond to this email, just let me know you watched it or comment in the video uh, link from YouTube, watched it. I'm going to take all those names, enter them into a drawing. If you don't want to do those things, you can text me. Either way, any way you want to let me know you watched it, we're going to have a drawing for a gift card, guys. I'll, I'll pick a winner at random and we'll get that out to you. So without any further ado, Mike Netherton. To everybody. Yeah, thanks, Joe, for having me. And quite frankly, thanks for joining the company. We're looking forward to what you have to offer and what you're going to do for our company. You know, as, as you know, I'm ecstatic on some of the things that you've done here recently to kind of move PLS forward. And I'm I'm ecstatic to be a part of that team. And uh, I think there's some big things in store. I think there are. I, I you know, we have uh, we have a vision and it takes the right people to execute that vision. And uh, you're one of those pieces. And yeah. we're yeah. excited that once again, to have you join the company in the Thank capacity you. you're gonna be in. Thank you, it's, uh, it's gonna be a fun ride. And you know, I hope everybody watching this video today um, recognizes that and will come along for the ride. I hope so. I, you know, listen, I. Uh, our goal is to e expand our customer base um, with your relationships and some others that we've recently hired and to grow, right? And all we really need from people is a, an opportunity. And what they might learn is, is they have another viable solution. You can never have enough friends, right? Exactly. We, we, can, uh, we possibly can be one of those people and good business uh, partners. So let's boil that down a little bit, Mike. Let's start, uh, so basically this is going out to many contractors in Indiana in general, and a, a lot of people that work in distribution um, that help us with the contractors. So I want everybody to kind of get a sense of who you are, Mike, as a person outside of work. I think that's very important. Uh, okay. Um, so listen, family is is like the foundation for me. Um, so uh, my wife, Laura, uh, who is involved a little bit in the company, uh, back of the house, uh, um, payroll expenses, that type of stuff. She does that from afar. She does that from home. She doesn't want to be here in the office, which is fine. Uh, she's great. She's my rock. We. Um, uh, we're empty nesters now. We have we have two kids, uh, well, young adults. Uh, they're they're awesome. Uh, my daughter Haley is is the oldest, and she is in um, um, working on getting her doctorate in conservation. And she got married this summer amidst COVID. My son graduated this spring from DePaul University, where he swam there for four years. So we we are, we're a swimmer family. Uh, so we've been involved in swimming for. Uh, 16, 18 years, um, and so, uh, so that's that's been fun. Uh, Matthew's local and got a job uh, amidst COVID and is doing uh, is doing well. So, uh, when I'm not working, my wife and I walk a lot. We're involved in our neighborhood. My wife is very involved in our church's pantry in Hamilton County. That's very important to us. And, um, oh, and we love animals. So you know, our, our, our dog Riley is, uh, well, she's pretty much the queen of the house. So she's pretty awesome. You know, you, know, you, you, you talked about your wife there several times, Mike. And uh, as you know, uh, when you and I initiated this conversation about me coming to work for you, it was very, I, I think I told you straight up, you don't have to convince me, you have to convince my wife. <laughs> and I think at the end of the day, you didn't convince my wife, Laura did. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, you know, Mike and I were able to sit down with our wives and talk through this, you know, life-changing business decision for me. 
and it became very apparent that this this it was a family decision for both of us, you know, and you allowed your wife to come into that conversation to, to speak to it. And I really appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, listen, Laura's seen a lot of things in 31 years and in the business. And so, you know, when I started in the business 31 years ago, March of 90, I was the new kid on the block, you know, um, as the, the uh, Juno kid here in town, and I call on everybody. I call on every contractor in the phone book. Um, I did business with a lot of them, uh, not all of them, and um, and that's how I got my start. I've traveled overseas as a national sales manager, working with vendors. So I've traveled China and, and South Korea. Uh, that was that was exciting, and that was pre nine one one. So it, it was more fun than traveling is today. And, you know, I've been back in this side of the business since 97, and I've owned the company uh, since 2003. So my wife has seen a lot, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, um, and it, it's been really good overall, right? Everything, everything in life has a greener pasture on the other side of the fence, on some days and then on other days, you know, your side is green. So, you know, it's, um, that's life. Yeah, so you, you mentioned that you started the company in 2003. Give yeah. us a little bit about a brief history of the company and then we'll get to where PLS is now. Well, um, so in 2003, started the company as really a residential like commercial company, right? We, we did, <clears throat> multifamily, but not multifamily like downtown podium style, right? Uh, with parking garages and everything. You know, we did the 16 building, you know, garden style apartments initially. It took fewer lines to do that. And I had the relationships. So, you know, we did a tremendous amount of residential business, a tremendous amount of uh, multifamily. So that, I, you know, that's, that's the original roots, I guess, moving into commercial. Uh, we got an opportunity in 2009 to become the Daybright reps um, <clears throat> and and did um, and and were the Daybright Capri Omega guys till um, well I guess until uh, Phillips decided to snap things in the line and and bring everything together at that time I didn't um, I didn't see a future there. And so we're very fortunate. Um, I uh, sent a text to someone I hadn't talked to in 20 years at Juno. Fortunately, his phone number didn't change and got a response back very, very quickly. Conversations ensued. And you know, we went to the back to work for Juno but basically 20 years from the month that I left them um, the first time. Um, You know, we we certainly grew that business, and you know, and uh, and, and sometimes uh, life and business not being always fair. We certainly know that about Corona right now. Um, you know, we had a, a major acquisition of Juno that put all reps in the country out, um, all sales managers out, factories closed. They moved product from Chicago to. Uh, out of the country, quite frankly, and um, and we had to pivot, and we did, and um, and it's worked out well. I mean, we've we found new partners uh, and really strong partners in lines like Nora and Orion and some other people, and we've just done, you know, uh, we've we've adjusted. Life is about adjusting. We've been adjusting the last six eight months now. With COVID, we'll continue to adjust until, you know, things get back to a, a previous norm, if, if that's even remotely possible. Sure. So mm -hmm. business is about adjusting. And that's what we've done. My wife has been there through that, and we've, um, if anything, we're resilient. <laughs> I'll say that. So. Or resilient. That, that leads me to the next question, basically, Mike. So where is PLS today? I mean, what 
where, where does the company sit as we sit here? Great question. Um, what had a harder time answering that in March and April and May? Uh, yeah. I was a bit nervous. I don't know anyone that probably wasn't a little nervous then. Um, uh, maybe not uh, some of the major uh, e-commerce people as, as that business shot up, uh, as people sat in their homes, um, quarantined for the most part. Um, but I'm happy to say that uh, by year's end, we will have one of our two best years ever. Um, I've said to my people multiple times that I think that we made the most of COVID. Uh, what does that mean? Um, early on in March, we, or I saw on LinkedIn, it's the only social media that I do, um, that getting the word out electronically was gonna become the future or one of the future channels. Um, Joe obviously acknowledged it because Joe's been doing his videos too. We started uh, training videos for our products. I think that we're very good product people. I think that one reason we do a lot of business is, is people like the fact that we understand products. We just don't sell things or take orders, but we literally help people provide solutions. You know. So I think since uh, middle end of March, we have put out 30-ish videos now. Um, we were putting them out at a, a, a rate of one per week. We took a survey a, a, a into it and people thought it was a little much. So now we're putting them out at a rate of every other week. Uh, but we've put out 30 videos so far. Uh, we're going to continue that. This will be nothing that stops if, you know, when and if we return back to previous normal. I think electronic information and education is, is important. That way people can do it at their own leisure. They can call it up uh, when it becomes timely to them. Um, it, it's, it's, it's really a good form of communication. So I think we took the time to look at things and say, what do we need to do to become a better company? And, um, and we've done that, right? We've done that with the videos, we've done that internally with some structure. And in the last uh, couple of months, since August, we've hired three outside salespeople. I don't know anyone that's doing that in the market. You know, and I, I say it all the time, Mike. I've said it to you. I've said it to your staff. Um, you have, quite frankly, invested a lot of your own money back in this company to do some of these things, right? Um, yes. And that is that is very impressive to me because with with COVID, crazy elections, and just everything that's going on in our world today. I, I'm just very impressed with the fact that you've invested the way that you have. I mean, you've taken some great risk, right? And I, I sure hope that the payback is huge for that, for everybody involved. Well, I think it will be. Um, I, I, I think that, uh, I think that we've got great product lines. I think that we've got, uh, very good people. And I think our deficit is um, we need a broader audience. Yeah. So we need a broader audience in a couple of different categories. So we've got three different uh, types of salespeople that we've added. Uh, contractors is a huge part of that. Quite frankly, in 1990, 91, 92, I mean, all I did was call on contractors. And I mean, at that time, I knew everybody, right? Over the years, you get pulled and you grow and whatever. And, and uh, I've kept a small base of contractors that I do a lot of business with. And, and we just need to get wider. Uh, yeah. There are people out there that do not know who we are. Yeah, and I, I'm just, I'm just going to guess, Mike, this video goes out to somewhere around 200 contractors in the state. Um, You've hired me to call on contractors basically exclusively, right? That's what I do. I want everybody to understand as, as you start to get to know me, you're going to figure out very quickly that I'm new to this lighting business thing, but I want everybody to understand when you get me, you get Mike as well, right? So, you know, if we come, if we come across something that, you know, is a little bit beyond the breadth of what I understand, uh, Mike's going to be right there next to me, um, either in spirit, you know, from conversations that we've had to make sure I understand what I need to understand or sitting in the room next to me when we're with you. 
So Mike has always made himself available for that. With, and I have no doubt that that's going to remain the same, right? Absolutely. I mean, quite frankly, um, all the support is here for you and, and everybody in the company. So that there's no doubt about that. And just so we're clear, Joe's not brought on just to call on contractors. Joe's been brought on to grow the contractor business, right? So down the road, uh, Joe will probably have multiple people working for him throughout the state, north, south, mid. And, you know, we're going to make contractors a big priority. There's a lot, there's a lot that the, of knowledge and help and assistance that we can provide. And the ones that are, are, are receiving that assistance, they appreciate it, they like it, and they keep coming back for, for more. So we, we need you, Joe, to help us, you know, get out in front of more people and, and, and find opportunities so we can earn their business. Yeah, you know, and another thing I think is very much worth noting, Mike, so not only when I'm dealing with the, with the contractors watching this, you're available, but it's also, I think, very important to understand that you've made some phenomenal relationships with the manufacturers. And because of those relationships, these manufacturers are available, right? Um, you know, we, we have a meeting tomorrow where we're bringing in a manufacturer uh, to meet with a guy. And I, that's huge, right, for these relationships to where I can pick up the phone and, and call who I need to call and there's a yep we'll be there what day do you want to do it yeah we we've um we've had a lot of lines that we represent we've represented them for a very long time and um and we do have very good relationships um I'm the the ones that we do the most business with I really focus on making sure I have relationships at the very top yes. Um, yes. I'm, I'm an owner down kind of a guy or CEO down kind of a guy and you know, so I like to have those relationships. You know, quite frankly, you're, the relationship that you and I developed over the course of the last year, say, um, played a huge role in me accepting a position. But one of the things that was on the top of my list, one, one manufacturer or two manufacturers specifically, the relationships that I was able to build with them was, was integral, right? Um, the fact that I got to know these guys and they respond when I call them, that, that was huge because I know what I don't know. And when I need somebody, somebody's help, I need them to be there. And they are. Uh, it's just huge. Well, it's, it's great when you know you've got people behind you that's got your back, right? Um, the one thing's for certain, not everything is going to go well, right? I mean, that's humans are involved. People make mistakes, whether they're counting errors or this, that, we didn't check this, or who knows what's going to happen. Things will happen. And, you know, we just have to, you know, work through it. And yeah. when you've got people, you feel comfortable, you've got people behind you, whether it's a PLS or at the manufacturer level, that's got to give you a lot of confidence. Absolutely. So my next question is where we're going. And I think you pretty much summed that up. Is there anything you want to add to that where, where you see the company moving forward? Um, you, you know, listen, we're, we're a hybrid agency, right? Meaning that we do residential through industrial. Um, we are going to continue to grow in all those segments. Um, although I think that the residential market is, is a challenged market these days. Um, with all the builders consolidating to more and more national builders, there's less effect that can be done there. Um, commercial and specification and industrial. Um, that's where a greater percentage of our energy will be spent um, in, run, in lighting renovations of facilities, specifications, and commercial you know, design build work, right? I mean, those are gonna be the things that we're gonna do more and more of. We're putting a huge emphasis on developers, which really was one of the core foundations of the, of, of the business early on. And um, so I'm, I'm excited about the future, more excited than I, I've ever been. And barring something that I cannot see for next year, I think next year will be our best year ever. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm very excited for that. And you, you kind of alluded to my next question there, Mike. The, the, the five things that PLS really excels at. You talked about multiple family living, design and build. Do you have anything to add to that? Um, energy work. I think we're, you know, we've become very strong energy people as a result of, of Ryan really teaching me, to be honest, in the last five years. Um, um, specification. I mean, with with the advent of bringing Tim O'Sullivan in, which I'm sure down the road you'll be talking more about Tim and his 12 years in the architectural world. Uh, Tim brings just a lot of strength and knowledge in, in the specification world. So, you know, I think uh, I think all those um, bode well for us um, and provide market share opportunities for us to grow. Yeah, and one thing I want to add to that, Mike, something that we don't talk about a lot, we seem to really excel with service departments. You know, these guys work on the fly. We can come up with some unique solutions quickly for them. So for all you service department managers, uh, all, you know, service truck techs, uh, keep us in mind. Uh, so that has kind of been my bread and butter with PLS over the last couple of years, uh, dealing with service departments directly. Yeah, service department is really important. You know, it it, uh, it doesn't take a package. Um, there are no spec lockers in the service department world. They're looking for good solutions for their customers. And those solutions can come in different forms, right? I mean, they can be basic solutions <clears throat> based on their customers' needs or budget, or, um, you know, they can, they can move up the food chain and and you know, be highly energy efficient for you know just a fraction more money. And you know, it's recognizing that those values in the customer and and trying to match them up well. Uh, yeah, I think and when you begin to push better products or more efficient products, I think uh, ultimately then the service contractor I think is adding value and might maintain its business relationship even longer with that customer you know and as we as we go through this process over the course of the next several months and several years when when we introduce you to new lines what a what a great way to try something right you've got a service department that may only need a few fixtures and you want to try a line for the first time what a great way to do that right so well mike uh thank you so much for for everything. Thanks for coming in here today and telling everybody a little bit about you. We're going to try to keep these uh, interviews from inside our staff a little bit short, but, you know, look forward to everything that uh, that we've got going on and look forward to getting out to meet you, eat, meeting each and every one of you and introducing you to Mike face to face when the time's right. Sounds great. Yeah, I, I look forward to Getting back to basics, um, contractors are the foundation of our business, and we have been neglectful in expanding those relationships, and we are taking the action to correct that. So we look forward to meeting each and every one and seeing what we can do to add value and earn your business. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Joe. Have a great day.